somehow they buy do discount then. So it just takes a while for the customer to, to, to put their trust in you. Hi everyone, I'm Ryan, the second generation owner of Lusa Bakute. Uh, here is my dad, uh, Mr. Chuan Simpon. He is the one who started Lusa Bakute uh, in 1985. Uh, we are located in Block 349, Jurong East Avenue 1, uh, just near Chinese Garden MRT Station. My dad started uh, this business in 1985. Back in 1985, there was a recession in Singapore. So unfortunately, my dad got retrenched. So while waiting for the economy to pick up, he actually went to our relative store to help out. And that's where he picked up the interest of our partner. Bakute and with his blessings, particularly my dad uh, went to set up his own store. From then on, we have been in this business for 38 years. I was working in the local bank uh, before I took over this business. Uh, I was in the credit risk or portfolio analytics uh, for a few years. I didn't initially plan to take over this business, but it was uh, true of helping them. Uh, sometimes during the weekend, we have a charge of manpower. Back then, we were still in the hawker centre. And that's where I started to realise that they actually, over the, this uh, long period of time, they have uh, built up these uh, strong followers who really enjoy our food. Yeah. After that, it just really prompted me that it is going to be a waste if my when my parents retire and no one take over this business whereby they have painstakingly uh, built over these uh, 30 years. Back then when I took over, it was almost 10 years ago, so they were already 65. So if I don't uh, make the decision, uh, I think uh, in a few years, uh, they might not have the energy to, to carry on uh, this, this business because as a hawker, it is actually uh, quite a uh, physically demanding job. This is my son take over the business, I'm very happy because the food uh, were passed down. I think one of the, the challenges that I faced initially when I joined my parents' store is that because they have a lot of uh, long-term customers and uh, when they see a young chap uh, taking over this business, somehow they were going to have doubt uh, on you, whether are you uh, doing the same, whether are you, your soup is still the same. So it actually uh, took a while for me to actually acquire the, the skill set to be able to balance the soup well. But I think I managed to overcome it by just being there that because they see me every day doing it. And over time, I think I gained the, the, the trust that this space is actually quite okay. A lot of times when we go by, let's say a chocolate gal, we saw the old chef doing it, we always think that, hey, the one is the, the original taste. Or when maybe the sa, maybe they would also have the same, uh, same, same level uh, of skill, but somehow people do discount them. So it just takes a while for the customer to, to, to put their trust in you. After I took over the business, I tried to, to build a brand. Back then, they had fewer staff, but now we have more staff uh, doing it. And I'll try to avoid the problem by, by they actually uh, associate just me with the, the, the juicy of the day. So it's more like now they trust the brand, like whoever that's uh, running this, this uh, juicy of the day, they can be assured that the taste is consistent. So even though we are called Jusha Bakute, but I think we are more than uh, one trip to Being a Bakute store, uh, one of our main dishes is called Bakute. But I also have uh, a few other uh, dishes, which I think they, are, they can be considered a star on their own. Especially I think our braised pork knuckle, our braised pork belly. Uh, a lot of customers uh, really enjoy them. Even the, the main Thai itself, some people say that they can just eat the main Thai with rice and they are very happy with just eating that. So we keep our menu small, but all the dishes, we try to make sure that they are good. Uh, this bakute, we want a very nice soup. The material must be fresh. First, must be fresh. Then, then you can build up good soup. We also try to have a different depth of the soup. We don't want it to be just a, a, a single level of taste. Because I think a bakute soup has to be uh, robust and well balanced. I think that is the point about the, the chef and the farming to make sure that the soup uh, is well balanced. You will have a lot of uh, unknown factors. Uh, the pepper can be more peppery than normal. The garlic doesn't give you the same uh, amount of the garlicness. So the chef should be able to, to taste the difference and try to balance it. My son performance I very satisfied because when when it took over, huh? This food is better than me. 
because he received the Michelin, Michelin award, so he's better than me. You see, so I'm I'm very happy. Right now, until he will improve, improve, because the this cooking ah uh, have have to take time to master. It's not so easy. So now I'm I'm very happy. He can take over the full business. The change in the the shopping malls, they do have the advantage in the sense that it's a more comfy uh, settings, whereby they are not affected by the weather. So for us, we are in the coffee uh, shop environment. So when it's really hot day, sometimes people uh, don't feel like coming out to, in this uh, this open air uh, places. It's easier for them to hire uh, uh, staff. They usually have a bit to hire. Uh, uh, foreign helpers. Uh, for us, it's, uh, it's really much harder to attract uh, people who is uh, willing to work in this harsh environment. In that uh, there will be a bit of a competition because they are selling high and of food with us and people don't eat that stuff with every, every day. In general, we should be actually be happy that uh, this stuff today uh, is actually winning a lot of uh, white acceptance in Singapore also because you will, will be in trouble if only the older generation likes Bakuto and then the, all the newer generation don't like Bakuto. Um, that is what we will fear more. If there is a chance, we do hope that we can have uh, another, play, another store that is uh, making it more convenient for people who want uh, to try our food. I think for, for us, we are really selling our food at a very reasonable, affordable prices. Uh, we, keep, we hope to keep this uh, as long as possible so that uh, all the people around the neighborhood they can enjoy this, uh, this wonderful food that is reasonable and affordable to, to most people.